Yo everyone, it's Sam Tompkins here. Uh, I've never done a video like this, but um, I just hit 200,000 subscribers on this channel. So I thought, why don't I take it back and uh, basically go to when this channel basically started. Now I'm going to tell you a story. I was, it was eight years ago. Um, actually, no, it was 10 years ago. Um, I posted my first video. I was about 13, 12, 13. And uh, it was a cover of I'm Yours by Jason Mraz. But um, sadly, uh, um, people at school <laughs> found it. And uh, I had to delete that one because uh, people were quite mean about it. But um, two years later, <laughs> I got the courage to do it again and do a cover of uh, Small Bump by Ed Sheeran. And um, I'm basically going to react to that video and a couple of my other like f videos from back in the day that I essentially haven't watched since I put them out. So um, I'm really nervous. And uh, also they've all been privatized, these ones, but I'm gonna unprivatize them after this so you guys can watch them in full and um, basically enjoy them. I'm really nervous because I don't know how bad they're gonna be or if they're gonna be good, I'll put, I, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, this is Small Bump by Itch here and I'm gonna uh, react to that now. You're just a small bum unborn. First of all, <laughs> why is my wool that colour? Is that turqu is turquoise? Um, Jesus. What a horrible colour for my room. No offence to anyone with turquoise bedroom walls, obviously. Anyway, didn't sound too bad though. Didn't sound too bad. I'm all right. I'm, I'm cool with this so far. Your broad life. Okay. You might be left with my hair, but you have your mother's eyes. <laughs> um, I'm cringing out a little bit because <laughs> I can see my little titties. <laughs> I can see my little boobies um, formulating there. <laughs> I can see my little boobies. Um, I basically put on. <laughs> some weight when I was about uh, 14, 15 and it all just came in the old chest area so I'm seeing I'm seeing a little bit of boob seeing a little bit of boob there um, yeah I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to carry on we're 15 seconds in Jesus it sounds good though I'm actually impressed with what I sound like I didn't think I would sound like this but it is what it is I'll hold your body in my hand, be as gentle as I can, for now you're a scam. Did you hear that? those breaths? For now you're... Oh man, just just chill man, just chill, just breathe like a normal human being. No my enemy plans to smoke, but before much you'll open your eyes. <laughs> open your eyes. Uh, voice hadn't broken then, so I struggled to get down low, but... Don't struggle to get down low now. God, you can't get me out of the clubs. Yeah, I will hold you tightly. Give nothing but truth. Oh, Jeez, a little run there. Inside me. Did you hear that break? All right. For my future and you. You, you, you. Cause you are my one. You are my one and only, only. You can wrap your fingers round my thumb and hold me tight. Jeez. You I tell you what's funny though, because I, I sing this song quite often now, like, because it's one of. I get in the shower and I'll just sing songs that I know I know all the words to and I'll just like belt them out. And it's funny because the way I sing it here is not actually that different to how I would sing it now. Like all the little vocal runs and stuff. Obviously, they, they're a lot tighter now. But actually, the way I would sing this song is pretty much the same. So it's funny because I haven't... It's not like I've listened to this song. I uh, listened to this cover, sorry, in such a long time. But for some reason, like, the way I sing this song is... God, look at those titties, man. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Sorry. I'm not... Yeah. Uh, crazy. One, one, and only. You can wrap your fingers round my thumb and hold me tight. You'll be alright. It's the low bits. It's the. And you will be alright. 
because I just can't I can't hit that yet. I can do all the high notes, but the low notes are just lost on me because, yeah, puberty took a little while. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, you're just a small bum unknown. You're growing to your skin. Jeez, what am I playing with? What is that? Smile like hers and that is my phone. <laughs> I'll tell you, I know what that is. I can see it's like a, a red uh, a red case of some sort. And I'm pretty sure now, looking back, I'm pretty sure that's my HTC phone. I don't know if HTC even exists as a company now, but that was my phone. And the case was, you're not going to believe this, any TOWIE fans. I wasn't a TOWIE fan at the time. I just liked Joey Essex, I thought he was cool. And basically, I'm pretty sure that case said stay uh, keep calm and stay ream. I'm not gonna I uh, I'm not proud of it. Although I'm pretty sure, like 95% sure that I am playing with my phone case from my phone and it is my keep calm and stay ream case. I'm I'm down I'm cool with that though. No problem with Fingernails size of a half grain of rice lids. Wait, wait. <laughs> wait, what did I say? Fingernails the size of half uh, of a half grain of rice lids. What does that mean? Size of a half grain of rice lids. <laughs> I think I got eyelids and rice lids mixed up and I've just gone a half grain of rice lids. I don't know if I can watch any more of this because it's we're we're <laughs> I'm stopping it too much. Do you know what? After watching that, I'm I'm cool. Cause really and truly that was probably gonna be the worst video I could have watched. Look at that, 48 likes, 1615 views. Mad. That is crazy. I'm reading the description. Just a video I made. It's kind of for music, but if it goes down well, I will put more up. If you don't like it, be honest, but don't give me abuse for it. Thank you. Oh, I was clearly upset about the first time I put it up. I basically put up my cover of Jason Raz I'm Yours. I told you about that earlier. And I remember I came into class one day and someone was playing it on the board and everyone was laughing. And I remember going in and just being like, forced to stay in because my art teacher thought it was nice but all the kids in my class who like forced her to put it on um were laughing so actually that was in 2008 2009 so it took me three years to post another video of this so i put this video out and like it got like 1600 views so that's not bad and 48 likes and that is yeah that's crazy yeah, I'm going to move on to the next video now. I've basically, I've put this off purposefully because now in hindsight, I think it's probably one of the, the worst things I could have done. When I started busking in Brighton uh, when I was 16, I used to just sing without a, a guitar or microphone or amp just because I couldn't, I couldn't afford the amp and microphone and I also just didn't, I couldn't play the guitar at that point. And um, I'm sure you guys have heard of them the band Bastille basically walked past me and I knew all the words to their song Pompeii which was like really big at the time so I like pulled them to the side and was just like hey um do you guys mind if I sing your song to you thinking that would be normal but like in hindsight I remember anytime I've watched this I've realized how awkward they look and how much this is probably cringing them out quite a lot and they're like kind of forced to stand there and watch this is going to be pretty fucking brutal I'm not gonna lie to you, but let's go for it. It's been like you being here before. How am I gonna be an optimist about this? How am I gonna be? It doesn't sound bad for me. That the it's the singing's not bad. The singing's fine. It's more like none of them have looked up from the floor yet. None of them can face me. Been an optimist about this all way. Dan seems kind of the main singer. Dan seems quite into it. Jeez. See, it's nice. It's nice, but now in hindsight, I'm just thinking to myself like, 
Why the hell did you stop these nice gentlemen from just going to the shops? They just wanted to explore Brighton and you have just like pulled them off and gone, please, 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 can I sing you your song? You're probably tired of singing by now, by the way, to you, as if you haven't heard it a million times before. So if you're watching this, Dan, and the rest of Bastille, I'm so sorry I uh, subjected you to this brutal, brutal situation i'm just it's the, it's the guy it's the guy in the sunglasses for me he's like he hasn't looked up once he's like seriously like dude look shut the fuck up i just want to go dan can we please just give him two pounds and leave and dan's like no we should carry on i've got nice hair Sure, that's what he said. Clouds roll over the hills, bringing darkness from above. Dan's like smiling. And if you close your eyes, ew, ew. does it almost feel like night? It's, it's, it's just more like, there's. it's not like a, they're so close to me. They must be like, so much for social distancing. They must be like, I don't know, like, uh, like a meter away from me and I'm forced I'm subjecting them to to this I've not got a guitar no microphone they're not just like casually watching they are like right there watching me as I give it my all as if it's like the X Factor final or something and they're just like <laughs> look at this guy with the sunglasses finally has finally looked up and he's realised look at him <laughs> look at him he's like he's like fuck he's filming this shit I've not looked my looked up once. Oh Christ! Oh my God! Brilliant! That is brilliant. He's just like, why are you filming this? You are your friend is gonna regret this for the rest of his life, and you're filming this. All right, let's uh, let's move on. I'm gonna have some of my drink. All right, let's find an old video. How oh, am I gonna be an optimist about this? How oh, am I gonna be an optimist about this? Okay, let's do this one. So, I'm gonna tell you another story now. I was 16, it was probably about two weeks after the Bastille thing. I was standing in town, doing my thing, uh, and this guy... I used to go bus. I used to go busking and like bring my friends along with me because I was too scared to go on my own. This guy who's like looks a lot older than me, he like stops by one of my friends and asks and like he starts speaking to them and I'm kind of seeing it out of the corner of my eye whilst I sing. Anyway, he waits for me to finish my song or whatever and he comes up to me and he's like, "Hey man," I'm like, "Hey, what's up?" And he's like, "You got such a nice voice." And I was like, "Oh, thank you, dude." And he had like a guitar on him and an amp and I assumed that he was maybe like another busker or something. He's gone to me, you've got an amazing voice, but people just can't hear you and that's why they're not stopping. And he basically was like, hey, I'll let you keep all the money, but I want to show you how much your lo like everything will change for you when someone plays a guitar for you or you know, there's a bit of music in the background and there's like an amp. And we just jammed together. I went from like having like 40 pounds to about 200 pounds. And he was like a man of his word. That guy was Ren. And that's how I met Ren. And I was 16 and he was about probably like, I want to say like 22, 23 at the time. About my age now. And um, this was the first time we ever met when my friends filmed this for me. I'm so glad that they did because obviously if you don't know or you do know, who cares? Me and Ren, a lot of our shit popped off like a couple of years ago with our song Blind Died. And like a lot of covers of ours have gone viral on his channel. This is basically the start, but no one's really ever seen it. It's not that great on my behalf, but it's a magic moment because I got gained a lot of confidence that day from that performance. This definitely shifted the way I viewed being a musician and stuff. I learned guitar because of this performance, you know, bought an amp and microphone and all that. It's because of this video, really, and, and this day. <laughs> Look at me, I can't even look for up from the ground. I'm completely shook. Look at Ren, man, he looks the exact same with a different haircut. She's just under the upper hand And goes mad for a couple of grams She don't wanna go outside So good night Cause in our fight, she fly to the motherland And sell love to another man 
It's too cold outside for angels to fly. Nice. But like, what's interesting is like, this is probably the first time me and Ren have ever played together, literally ever. The fact he's able to play that, and we're like communicating, you can see us communicating together, like how we're gonna do this. And he just knows exactly what he's gonna do. That's why Ren's so sick. Like he's always been that, like he's always been able to just adapt and like just do whatever to fit whoever he's working with. I just love it, so sick. <laughs> Little lady, this is just the worst way to spend your birthday. It's 30 degrees first day. Come on. Who is with a perv making dirty fake love? Miss Mercedes, lady, the word great sums up events that take place every night. You want to get up. This is a song called Little Lady by Michael Payne. It's a, it's a great song. Um, it uses the Ed Sheeran A Team hook. Um, it actually came out before A Team, I think. Um, but this is one of my favourite songs ever. Um, and it's one of the first songs I learned all the whole rap words to. I ended up working with Michael Payne. Uh, a couple years after this video and that was such a big thing for me that song's never come out but it's a special one for me for sure you know your legs are late if you try then you remember that your punter went crazy last night you track yourself to the mirror to check your face and you cry forget the visit to the clinic you were booked in for you make a trip to the witting to where they look at your jaw that be inquisitive and ask about your business for sure but know you're fearing if you sell them you got hip you see that the way Ren did the d -d 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 with his guitar crazy Crazy. He has literally probably never heard that song in his life and he was able to do it. Genius. Oh. What the hell are you saying, bro? Oh, man. So cute. That is so sick. I genuinely, I actually think that's really, really good. And that's like 16 year old me gaining a bit of confidence and like basically just like, that just changed my changed my life really that that video and like that day and and stuff and like i wonder how many views this got Six thousand views which for me in those times this is 2013 that's quite a lot of views 209 likes uh four dislikes <laughs> oh ren go ren five years ago comments this needs to happen again next one why is this not viral it did happen again and some shit went viral so that makes a lot of sense and that is really cool. And to look back on that and know that's the day that me and Ren met and a f an amazing friendship and like whatever else came from it. And um, that's really special. Oh, oh I'm going to get emotional. You know, when you look back and you think, you know, that was the best part of 10 years ago, a video like that. And I started this YouTube channel, as I say, probably about 10 years ago, maybe even 11 years ago. When you look back on all that and you think... I came from a very small place, nothing much happens, people all kind of do the same thing, like end up staying in the town and like carrying on with their lives and that's fine, you can do that, but I knew I didn't want to do that and somehow I managed to make it happen and I made, made my dream come true and I, you know, eight years, that's only eight years ago I was doing that. And if there's anyone watching right now that's in their bedroom filming content or whatever and they're thinking like, oh, there's no one's viewing this. Why is that the case? These things take time and I think I'm a, a testament of that. It takes ages to get to a certain point um, in life where you're able to do the thing that you love all the time, make it your job. So much has happened since then, but I'm so glad that the second time round when I started doing videos, even though people were mean about it at school, I didn't, I didn't listen to them and I carried on because if I didn't, God knows where I would have ended up. I probably had what, like going on maybe a hundred subscribers at that point. And now we're sitting here at 200,000 subscribers only eight years later. And yeah, unbelievable. It's like I'm so taken aback by when I watch stuff like that. I literally haven't watched these videos in so long. But all I can say, guys, is whether you were there back then, which you probably weren't, um, <laughs> that would have been crazy. Or if you've just joined us now, it doesn't really matter as long as you're with the journey and, and like you can appreciate what's happened already. Um, I love what I do and, I, and, I, and it's a pleasure to know that there's 200,000 other people that feel the same way. So... Um, thank you all so much for being part of it over these years. It's only going to get more and I'm going to do start doing more stuff like that. So if you want to, um, if you want to, 
I don't know, follow the journey. If you haven't watched it already, subscribe. Um, and if you like this stuff, just let me know in the comments if you want me to do more of it. And if, uh, if there's any videos in particular you want me to to react to of my own and um, any other like, content ideas you think I'd think I'd uh, do well in. Because, um, to be honest, I've had such a good time doing this and I would love to do it again. So anyway, guys, thank you all so, so much for 200,000 subscribers. It's literally a dream come true and um, I'm going to carry on making content for you guys. So, yeah, just let me know what you want. Peace.